Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are here and we're going to be looking at the FC25 pitch notes. Again, apologies for this being a little late. I've just had a few things going on in the background. But we are here with the FC25 community update pitch notes. Now, there is a trailer. I'm not watching the trailer because the trailer is just absolutely nothing. So I'm going to discuss what is in this pitch notes and we're going to see how good it is. And I'm sure you've seen a lot of it already, but again, this is my views, this is my opinion. Leave yours in the comments, drop a like and a sub while you're there as well. But, yeah. Hey everyone, welcome to another season of Pitch Notes. This is a space built to share EA Sports FC updates directly from our development and community teams with you. From relaunch to live services, we're excited to reveal everything coming to EA Sports FC 25 in our upcoming deep dive soon. But before we do that, we want to share some details on a few features to be asking about. Yada yada yada, okay. Stay tuned for our deep dives, except they don't say what the deep dives are, which is quite stupid, personally. But we are due a couple of deep dives, which will be nice. We will look at the Rush deep dive, maybe. Not the club's one. But, yeah. So, ultimate team. Div Rivals checkpoints. There's going to be more Rivals checkpoints. There's less Rivals checkpoints. And they're adding relegation in the highest divisions. It should be in every division, personally. But uh, I digress. Division Rivals rewards will also be better. It looks as though you need a certain amount of points. You'll get three points for a win and a point for a draw. It won't be like the, the FIFA 19 cycle, which is quite good. And I'm very glad with that. But I'm not happy with this next feature. Rivals Legacy Division Placement. The only way I will be happy with this is if you are rewarded at the start of the game with a pack based on your performance. So if you're in Division 2, you get a pack, it'll just be called like a Division 2 pack, and it'll have a certain amount of players in it, or an Elite Div, because you can't be basically telling people that they must spend money from the get-go in order to succeed. You have to let people have that organic experience. I understand that, yes, for some people it's not fun going through all the divisions, but for a lot of people, having a fresh start every year is a good thing. And that's okay. And that is okay. But I don't rate it. I don't rate it. That is just a silly idea, and I hope they implement it the correct way. Friendlies are not skill-based. They're now form-based, which is nice well, and such. Duplicate storage is confirmed. That's a dub, in my opinion, as long as, as, long as it's not the transfer list. Evolution requirements... There's going to be more evolution requirements, and there's going to be two evos, I think, but they haven't confirmed that yet, but no contracts, which is a big one, but yeah, that's for another deep type. Goalkeeper movement getting nerfed, I can't really speak on that, I know some people will probably be happy, some people will think it shouldn't be in the game at all, but goalkeeper manual movement will be limited, like in the video above, you can watch that, you can set your corner takers, which again, is just whatever, because it's going to be very OP which is whatever, and then there's relegation in clubs, there's the store in clubs, there's all this max height 6 foot 5, which is a bit silly, because they are scared, obviously, not fun. And then career mode, again, not much to say, customization, not much to say, yappa yappa yappa, all that. As always, we look to see, we look to improve and expand how we collect your feedback, how are we going to do that? The amount of back, the amount of feedback we've received from the portal, all that sort of stuff. Again, I would really like, I would really, really, really like if they just told us when these deep dives are happening so that we know and so that people can be prepared and be ready. I don't like the idea of, and maybe, maybe they will have a certain day that they do it and they'll go, right, this is, next week we'll have this deep dive and this deep dive and so on. But, yeah, these are the dates. The 20th, 20th of September is the absolute earliest anyone can play. I don't know if I rate that, but it is what it is. I never rate the end of September release. I, I think that EA should really be moving towards a August release. And I know that doesn't align well because it's the start of a new quarter for them. So it's much easier to lump all the sales in, in the quarter, instead of having it start in August. But the Premier League starts in August, so that's when I'd be starting it. Fire it up during the European season, not half, not halfway through the second month. Not a month in. But 
again, I digress, you know. Those are my thoughts. Again, leave yours in the comments below. I'll try to read out all the best ones in another video. But until then, enjoy whatever it is that you are doing, and I'll catch you in the next one.